The CIA has already been embarrassed after former employee Edward Snowden leaked classified information which revealed top secret global surveillance programs. He now lives in exile in Russia under threat of prosecution in the US. The latest data dump, which hasn't been authenticated, claims the CIA developed a malware to infect Android and iPhones to allow easier surveillance, but lost control of the technology. This would allow the CIA to steal data from targets overseas and turn ordinary mobile phones into surveillance tools. And having lost control of the technology, hackers worldwide could use the program to steal data. Ordinary people, you know, the average person, that's not who I would worry about. What I might worry about is that some of this might get into the hands of, let's say, very sophisticated criminal organizations or foreign governments and be used in a very targeted way uh, against, let's say, activists or, you know, people who are human rights workers. Uh, that could happen, but I don't think the average person sitting in their house needs to worry. Another key claim, the U.S. consulate in Frankfurt is a covert CIA hacking base that operators work behind the walls here to spy and hack phones across Europe, North Africa and the Middle East. It's also alleged that after the Snowden affair, the Obama administration promised the U.S. government would flag serious vulnerabilities to tech companies. But it hasn't. And that means the tech companies can't take action to fix the problems. And if the U.S. government knows about the gaps in security, so do hackers. WikiLeaks claims this makes everyone's phone hackable. So, for example, U.S. President Donald Trump's Twitter account could be hacked. What the CIA should do if they really genuinely believe this information is in the hands of, of bad people is they should go to the manufacturers of these devices, the phones, the software that it, they are exploiting, and they should make sure that the necessary uh, patches are in place so the software isn't vulnerable anymore. One other startling claim is that the CIA, working with the British intelligence agency MI5, developed a malware or virus which could turn Samsung smart TVs into microphones, which could then be monitored. The leak, if genuine, causes difficulties for President Trump. Throughout the election campaign, he praised the organization for releasing details of the Clinton campaign, saying he loved WikiLeaks. Now he finds his spy agency on the receiving end of an alleged hack. The CIA has not responded to several calls for comment. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.